Hey, and what's up? We are back with more Mega Man Zero fun and such. This is BMS, the host with undoubtedly the most. Catch my drift? Of course you do. Now we are on our final selectable mission, and the final guardian to be encountered too, so that's good stuff. As we decapitize some of those desert snakes there, and again with the fucking camels. Of course, can't go wrong with fire-breathing camels, can you? Why not? Here we are at the same trap again. This is good stuff. Gotta love it, gotta love it. Apparently, they haven't changed the code since the last time we were here, so Sh CL is able to disarm the damn thing just as easily as she was before. Way to go, Neo Arcadia! Now, this stage has 11 Cyber Elves. That's probably the most any stage has had up to this point in our little playthrough here. But not to worry, I think there's only three that are required, that you're required to collect during the mission, so it's not all bad. Now, as you can see, this stage has undergone some minor changes since the last time we've been here. Namely, the giant sheet of ice is now a lake, with a couple of battleships floating up above it, with mechanical squid and fishes and everything like that. Fishes? Scratch that, people. I'm, I don't know what the plural of words are. Anyway. The two cyber elves, two of the first cyber elves that you need to collect are from the fish and the squid, as you see there. Now be careful of the battleships, because they can squish your ass into the rock, so you're gonna wanna watch out for that. Now the time limit on this mission is very generous, so you can probably collect a lot of the other cyber elves that are in the containers during the mission, and maybe save yourself some time later, if you're an impatient bastard like I am, which we all know that to be true. Now those of now those fans of Mega Man X4 will undoubtedly notice on the side of these battleships is the Repliforce symbol from, like I said, Mega Man X4, which to me says a lot about Neo Arcadia. Number one, they use outdated equipment because these battleships have to be what was it like 100, 200 years old, top something like that. Of course, why not upgrade? Because they're cheap bastards. That's why. You should have been able to tell this by what they've thrown at us so far. They, they're they dumb. They don't know what to do. Anyway, I'm going off on a tangent here. We're finally back at the base. Now, if you're just going to complete the mission, this is very simple. However, if you're going to collect all the Cyber Elves like I am, which the reason I went and collected all the Cyber Elves in the prison cells is because I wasn't sure if we could actually make it back to this area again. Turns out that we can, and I'm simply wasting my mission time here, but what can you do, what can you do? Now I believe there are five Cyber Elves hidden throughout this little prison area, and it's pretty much a random bet which cells they are in unless you have a guide, which I didn't, so I pretty much have to look through every one, so you're in for another good minute, minute and a half of fun and such Cyber Elf exploration. Who can go wrong with that, right? Now, the good thing about the coming through this area our second time would be that the Pantheon Guards, being spotted by them, I guess you could say, will not decrease your mission score, which, hey, you know, take a bonus whenever you can get it, man, what can I say? The bad news are all the fucking SEAL cannons. Yes, they're real bastards. As you can see, I took, like, three hits from the motherfuckers. Anyway, we're done with that. Now we're back to this door, which apparently she had so much problems, so much trouble opening the last time. Not a lick of trouble this time. I don't understand it, neither do you, but the good thing is you don't have to. The main thing is, is that she's eventually going to shut the hell up and open it for us, like that. Now, destroy the six computers, and she will blab her mouth each time you destroy a pair, but that's okay, we're used to that, so take it with a grain of salt. And there are six, I do believe, and two Cyber Elves come out of the top two here. And yes, I said three Cyber Elves are required during this mission. There are actually five. But the last two are these two, and if you miss them, then you are either a blind motherfucker, or you're just, well, not collecting them, or something like that. Doesn't, doesn't really matter. Okay, we're past that. We're done. We've destroyed the computers. We're ready to go. If we can make it through here, which... Apparently they're wanting to make it hard for us there, but we got it. Now, <clears throat> this is probably the hardest fucking guardian to fight coming up. 
Her name is Leviathan, and she is the only female Guardian of X, and as you guessed, she has the elemental power of ice or water. And as she floats in there with that little staff thingy, I don't know, that's quite a bitch. Now, somehow I managed to make quick work over here, but let's go over her attacks, shall we? She only has three, surprisingly, and that's not counting her EX skill, by the way. But her three normal attacks are quite easy to avoid. Now, her first one, she'll throw out, like, three little copies of her spear at you that kind of home in on you, but not too bad. If you're behind her, don't have to worry about it at all. Like so. Her second attack is to float over, and she will summon, like, a ring of ice that will do that. If you get hit by that, you, you really suck, okay? Number three is that, where she will create these little icicles that float down. Of course, not easy. And if you time it right, you can take her out, like I'm doing here, and she won't get to use her EX skill, which... Her EX skill is what turns the easiest battle into probably the toughest battle, because she will summon an ice dragon that will hunt you down, and it will bite your ass over and over again. It's hard to destroy, and she'll keep attacking with her three other normal attacks while it's chasing you around, so... You know, kind of a double threat there going on, and it's quite a pain in the ass. Anyway, once you're done with that, of course we'll see her EX skill once I fight her in Neo Arcadia later on. I just got lucky there, so I guess you could say, don't take that as what's going to happen to you when you play it. That makes sense. I hope it did. Anyways, now she's talking about a substitute energy. Like I said, is kind of a reoccurring theme throughout the Mega Man Zero games, but we'll get into that later. And now that we've finished our all of our selectable events, we come up to the last scripted event. I think it's the last. It's something like that. Apparently all that shit that we've done to protect the base uh, didn't work at all because the poor bastards that were left to guard it really suck. I mean, there's like ten of them, but they still suck. And we're being invaded, so the elderly and the children are supposed to take priority, which there's, I think, one elderly robot and one child robot, but Anyway, that doesn't make any sense. Now here she is talking about how she is the one that designed Neo Arcadia, which is actually a lie. She didn't do jack shit, she was born way after Neo Arcadia was formed. But she did create Copy X. Now you remember how I told you she was 14 before? Well yes, she created Copy X six years ago, which unless you really suck at math, you will know that she was eight years old when she created him, and that is Quite interesting, actually. Now, a little background on CL that might kind of shed some light on how the hell she was able to do this. She is apparently a genetic experiment that was done on children in Neo Arcadia. She apparently has the genes of some previous super scientist or something like that and has been genetically altered to make her super smart, which it worked to a certain degree, but. Oddly enough, you'd think they would be able to do something about her blabbing constantly. Anyway, next time we'll get into that mission. Now, there's only one more Cyber Elf left to collect in the hidden base, which you'll have to collect it after you go through the scripted event there. But once you're done, you can come back here and collect them all. Now that one is probably the hardest jump to make. And as you saw, it's not easy. Anyway, we're done. Next time, we will try to defend the Resistance base. Will we be able to do it? Who knows? Tune in next time.